Relax, Mr. Hodges. You're already dead. Sorry. Who are you? My name is Jack Bauer. And right now, I'm the only chance your wife and children have to stay alive. Explain that to me. The people that wanted you dead don't know you survived. Tell us who they are, and we'll keep it that way. The president has agreed to provide you with a death certificate and a witness protection in exchange for actionable information. I can't watch this anymore. If you refuse, it'll be released to the press that you are alive and in our custody, and that you're cooperating. We'll let your friends take care of the rest. My family is innocent. The president would never allow that to happen. She doesn't have the stomach for it. You might be right about that. But make no mistake about it, sir. I do. Trust me. Do your family a favor. Just tell me who you've been working with. I am... I was part of a larger group of like minds. You mean other companies like Starkwood? I mean people who can protect this country better than any government ever could. There are hundreds of private military companies in this country. We're talking tens of thousands of people. But only a handful with the guts and the vision to do what was necessary. And what is that? The plan was to launch simultaneous attacks early next year, multiple cities, so the public would finally see that the government can't protect them. They demand drastic measures and we'd step in. How would you justify that to the American people? Simple, offload the blame. We were gonna supply the enemies that wanna destroy this country. Mohammed this, Ahmed that. From sleeper cells, the apologists say don't even exist. You, of all people, should understand. Understand what? I watched the Senate hearing yesterday. And I was disgusted with how you were treated. You should be regarded as a hero, not a criminal. broke the law. You were following your instinct to protect your country, just like me. Mr. Hodges, I need the names of the people that you are working with. I have spent my entire life protecting this country from enemies large and small. I created Starkwood from the ground up. The government used us to great effect, and now they think they can just throw us away. Are you telling me that this has been about protecting your contracts, about money? I tried to tell the politicians how vulnerable we are. They wouldn't listen, so we decided to show them. By attacking your own country with a biological weapon. By killing innocent people. Yes, a few innocent lives would be lost, but only to save the greater number. Having the courage to make those hard choices gives us a lot in common, Mr. Bauer. Let me explain something to you. You and I have absolutely nothing in common. All that you have done today is create a scenario by attacking your own country that has made you valuable again. Today has been nothing short of a desperate grab for power, and it has failed. You have failed. And unless you want me to go public with the fact that you are still alive, you are going to give me the names of the people that you've been working with. I don't have... I want the names. I don't have... I want the names! I don't know any! Fine. Patch me through to Amy Meyer at the Washington Post. No. Amy, it's Jack. I have a statement I need to make. Wait, 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 wait. Give me the names. I swear, I swear I don't have them. This whole project was, was based on anonymity. We never met in person. Everything was handled through an intermediary, a woman. She never told me who she was. She never told me her name. I never asked her. The same woman that gave you the poison? Yes, yes. Amy, I'm sorry something's come up. I've got to call you back. You tell yourself whatever you want. You are a traitor. Witness protection was your promise. Yeah.